is going on, you and the two. This your boy Trucker Will. We're trucking it like always, trying to make this money, trying to make this dough. And today we're going to get a little educational. We're going to talk about how to slide your fifth wheel. For those who don't know, we're going to show you how to do it. Next, I'm trucking with Trucker Will. <laughs> guys so for those who don't know how to slide your fifth wheel we're going to show you how first so the first thing you guys you guys are going to turn your landing gear and drop this down so that's the first step guys also then get an idea where your fifth wheel is lined up at you can see mine's all the way back and they're loading me right now so first step we're going to do is you are going to drop your landing gear. all right guys so the second step after you've dropped your landing gear the next step, you are going to push this little button right here to drop your air suspension. So you push this button first. After you have your landing gear dropped already, you're going to drop your airbags, okay? So that's the next step, guys. All right, now for the third step. Now, first step, you are going to drop your landing gear. The second step, you are going to drop your air suspension. And then the third step, you are going to hit the slide button. Air slide should be located right next to the air suspension button and right next to the inter interaxle unlock or lock button. So you're going to push this. So you push that, that is go you're gonna hear a little clunk and that's going to unlock your fifth wheel so that you can then move forward or backwards. Now, with that, you are going to push this button right here this button push this button in and you're going to slide your fifth wheel forward or backwards after you do that you do the steps in the backward position so then you would then push this up to lock your fifth wheel in at the position then you were going to want to raise your air suspension and then you're going to want to go back to the back and raise your landing gear so that you have then properly adjusted your fifth wheel so that you can get down the road to get to the next load to get paid. All right guys, so now that you have an understanding of how to slide your fifth wheel, now remember what your fifth wheel actually does. What does it actually do? Let's, let, let's give you a second to see if you guys can figure out what it actually does. If you don't know, I'll tell you how, what, what it does. So your fifth wheel transfers weight between your steers and your drives. That is what it does. It transfers the weight from your steers to your drives. So if you have it all the way forward, you're gonna have more weight on your steers. If you have it all the way backward, there's less weight on your steers and the weight is distributed more on your drives. So you'll end up being about 10K. Yeah, about 10K on your steers. Then you'll have somewhere right around with, with your load, you'll have somewhere right around, you know, 32. And then on your tandems, you should be right around, with a, with a, with a load, you should be somewhere around 31, 32. So it's, Maximum weight, 12, 34, 34. 12, 34, 34. That's typically what you your base your base weight is supposed to be, 12, 34, 34. But if you have your fifth wheel all the way back or all the way forward, you're probably going to have, with the trailer loaded, you're going to have somewhere between 11K and close to 12K, depending on how they load that trailer in the back there. But if you have your fifth wheel all the way back, you're probably going to be somewhere right around 10 on the steers, 31 on the drives and somewhere between 33 and 34 um, in tandem depending on how how much the weight the load weighs but that's how i do my adjusting guys this is how i do it i hope it's helpful for you guys a quick little one, trucking 101 from your boy truck wheel uh if you guys have any questions leave them in the comments below remember to like subscribe share hit the bell below so you know when i come up with new videos on my blacktop journey as well as if you guys are thinking about coming over to prime and want to start your trucking journey use the 
driver code at the bottom in the description is T-A-Y-L-W-A. Put you at the top of the list so you can get in here and start getting to the grind and get into the money and get into a better outlook on your future. As well as if, you have, if you're interested in getting some life coaching from your boy, uh, truck, uh, Coach Floyd, his link will be in the description as well. So you can chop it up with him and we can get you well on your way to a new level in your life if you want to. So, hope that helps you guys. Remember to be blessed, less stress. Keep that left door closed, that right foot down. Only when it's safe, guys. Like always, guys, I see you on the blacktop. Safe trucking.